Alright, hey guys, what's up? My name's Tristan Blaine. I'm 13 years old. I'm from McKinney, Texas, and I'm the Pop Blitz Artist of the Week. Hey Tristan, how's it going? I'm doing pretty good, Tracy. How are you? Pretty good. So, I hear you're gearing up for a big tour. Yes, that's actually in a couple of days. I'm going to uh, Milford, Delaware right now. Not as we speak, but tomorrow, uh, really early in the morning, morning we're going to go ahead and get over there. Awesome. Well, for those that don't know, could you describe your music and a little bit about yourself? Well, I'm more of an urban pop, you know, like the Justin Timberlake, the Neo kind of style. And that's, that's where I've been a lot. That was not where I was going and aiming at before, but now... I mean, I, I just got signed with a record label, so oh, a little indie record label. So they kind of they're, they're steering me into that direction. And um, a little bit about myself. Well, like I said earlier, I'm 13, and um, I I am a serious performer. I love to perform. And yeah, that's pretty much all I can describe about me. Is just that's all I do. <laughs> Nice. Well, congratulations on the label. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I bet you're really excited. Uh, it's, it's, it was exciting when I heard <laughs> So what are the plans? Are they going to get you in and start recording? or? Oh, yeah. I think we, like, we literally just released a, my new EP called Up, Up, and Away on iTunes, Amazon, and Google Play. Unfortunately, they did spell my name wrong <laughs> on iTunes. It's T R I S. E-N, not A-N, E-N, B-L-A-I-N-E, so, yeah, but, you know, it's just stuff like that that happens, but, you know, but I have the EP coming out, um, we're going to start working on my album, we're going to uh, start a crowdfunding project, so, you know, with a lot of awesome perks that you guys, if you donate, they can get some perks out of it. Awesome, well, fans, definitely go to iTunes and check that out, now that you know how to spell his name, to find it, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, how did you get started? Well, I was around 10 years old when I started getting into plays and all that in my old school. And uh, the feeling I got when I was on stage, it's indescribable. So, therefore, I wanted more of it. So, I, I, I heard an advertisement on the radio for uh, little auditions for acting and modeling and and all that, so I immediately asked my mom, and she said, she said no at first, because she was, she was being a model herself, and uh, she had went through a lot of scams, and she thought it was one of them, but she was wrong, because well, eventually she, she said yes, so I got to go audition, and I made it, so it was a really, really cool thing, and that's how, that's how, that's where I am now, and I am, I, I have grown since then, and I, I'm where I am now. Cool. Well, it's a tough business, so she was just looking out oh, for yeah. you. you got to really love it. Oh, yeah. I do. Do you play any instruments? I know I saw a video for Teen Hoot and you were playing guitar. Yes, I, I, love, I love my guitar. I'm not sure if I was with the Martin or my Sakamini. I have two guitars, and uh, my Martin, I just bought. It, it's, it was a, I, I like my Martin a lot better, I say. Honestly, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> it was like the it was the One Direction cover song. <laughs> yes, it was. Um, I can't remember it now. <laughs> it's been a while. Hey, it's cool. What has been your best moment so far? Best moments, well, of course, being signed with the record label. Um, other than that, uh, going on tour my, for my first time last year with the Country Pop Rock Tour. And with Riley Ross, which she was, you interviewed her, and Tyler Lane, Dalton Sear. Yeah, I went on tour with them. And that was, that was a huge experience for me, and I really enjoyed that one. Awesome. I love and how... You know, so and now my Team Nation tour, which I'm a headliner along with my co-headliner, Riley Ross. So. Cool. And how it's many really how many shows does uh, the tour, how many cities? I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> It's a, it's way too many for anything you don't remember. Okay. I, it's it's gonna be crazy and it's gonna be very stressful, but I'm going to enjoy every single moment of it. It's all I know is that it's in Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, and North Carolina. Cool. Well, you'll have a lot of fun, I'm sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> what is one thing that you must have on um, on the road with you? One thing that I must have. Uh, 
most likely all of my shoes. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a big sh- shoe addict. I, I actually have to say, I, I love my high top. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of shoes. <laughs> So what kind of shoes? Are you into like the colorful ones or the? I, I'm more of a I, I'm more of a Supra and a Pilato. And oh yeah, I have a really cool pair of Adidas Wings that I that I really enjoy. So yeah, I I, I, I mean, if I just find something that looks cool, I buy it. So I really don't have a preferred brand, but. <laughs> cool. What can fans expect from you this year? Well. For one thing, my new album, hopefully, we're going to start working on my new album, and that should be coming out, and I, I, it's going to be coming out, I can assure you, because once I get back from the tour, we're going to immediately start recording, and it's going to be really, really cool. And, of course, like I said earlier, my crowdfunding project, and maybe even a new another tour in the fall, and I'm going to be doing a lot of festivals and all that, and uh, hopefully be doing a lot more meet and greets, too. Nice. You're going to be busy. Oh, yes, I know. But, hey, it's fun. So, oh, yeah, it's fun. why do you want to be a singer? Why do I want to be a singer? I really like to watch people, you know, get excited over my music. I just like, I like watching people that, and I like the reaction I get from the crowd when I perform and all that. I mean, that's just one thing that's always stuck with me. Even when I was little, I mean, I used to, it up, like, I, I used to have a toy guitar, and I used to, like, perform in front of my parents, and, and that's, I, I just always loved that, that feeling of performing. Cool. Well, being so young, I know a lot of people automatically think, you know, Nickelodeon, Disney Channel. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that is very true, but, you know, yeah, it would be amazing if I did get picked up by this Disney Channel or Nickelodeon, and I would, it would just be really, really great. But, you know, it would, yeah, it would be awesome. But, I mean, is that where your music lies, and, like, the pop music, or do you... That, that's, mm-hmm. where, that's where my music, honestly, it still will be played because of my age, and okay. that's, that's the stuff where, it, no matter how old you are, well, I mean, if you're a little bit older, like Justin Timberlake, you, you would most likely wouldn't be on radio Disney. <laughs> yeah. But... Yeah, if someone's, like, my age and still doing stuff like Justin Timberlake's kind of music, but, you know, for generated for, towards younger ages, it would be, definitely be on radio to me. For sure. Yeah. So where can people get in touch with you? They can get uh, in touch with me on my website, TristanBlaineMusic.com, or Twitter, at TristanBlaine, Facebook, Tristan Blaine Music, or YouTube, Tristan Blaine. All right, fans, got the plugs right there, so go check them out. And if you want to follow Pop Lip and Tristan Blaine, we are doing a contest where you can win free signed CDs. My new EP called Up a Bullet. Awesome. And then final message to your fans that are listening? Um, I love all of them. I, I love every single one of them, or else I probably wouldn't even be talking to you if I didn't have my fans. I got a lot of requests for you, let me tell you. <laughs> awesome. And when that I, is really cool. I appreciate it. Yeah, and when I said that you were going to be the artist, there was a lot of uh, excited girls. So. <laughs> cool. I will thank you, and best of luck to you in the future. Thank you so much.